Copa Italia there are the highlights there between Juventus and AC Milan now AC Milan will be traveling to the old lady of Turin for the second leg of that semi-final to see who will be heading on to the final Juventus on a rebuilding mode AC Milan also on a rebuilding mode but can AC Milan get back to it is glory days it is the fans on here on Y254. I'm Robert Osoro. If you want to join this conversation, it is at Y254 channel on Twitter and Facebook. And tell us everything that you want to have and talk about here on the fans. And still on the panel, to my immediate left is Fred Openda. And to my extreme left is Samuel Mwana Wan Juguna. And let's talk about everything that is happening. It is two matches today for the EPL. But the biggest match will be coming your way on Monday and that is Chelsea playing home at Stamford Bridge to Manchester United. Big game there Fred between Manchester United and Chelsea but Frank Lampard has not lost to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer so far. Can this be the first time that he can do that? <laughs> Win against Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? I, I, I'm not seeing that happening because uh, I think um, the the uh, experience uh, experience aspect of Chelsea has mm -hmm. not really uh, been so good this season because uh, I watched a game whereby they played Arsenal with 10 men over 75 minutes and they couldn't uh, like uh, get a win and yeah. uh, watching United this season against the the big six if I can put it so uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think they have performed they have tried to perform these are the only guys who have taken points of uh, Liverpool. Yeah. So I, I think um, Lampard will be in for a, a, a tough game on Monday, yeah. uh, especially now that uh, we have a very, very good uh, dispute uh, 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 in the name of Bruno Fernandes for, for Man United in that midfield. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully uh, maybe uh, James will come up with his A game uh, and maybe try to supply those balls in to... Uh, <laughs> Hopefully that it can work. But now, with the problems that uh, the Blues Manchester City are having at the moment, Sam, is that now if you finish on the fifth place, you are heading on to the Champions League. Chelsea was chasing the number four position. Manchester United is also chasing the fourth position. But now with this chance that is coming in, and Manchester United has had a myriad of chances to get onto the top four, but they have not been doing that. They lost to Watford. They drew against Sheffield United. Of reason, they have also lost to Burnley United. But now it is Chelsea, and now th that number five position is there for you. How key is this match for both sides? It's very crucial because if you look at um, Sheffield United, the points they have, and you look at um, Chelsea, it's about a gap of three points. That's very close. Um, if you look, yes, Sheffield have played one extra match, but that doesn't matter because right now it's six points between uh, seventh place, between ninth place actually, to yeah. um, Chelsea. So it's about six points. That, that's very close because those are two games. It means you, you, you slip twice and you're, yeah, you're out. Yeah, and worse is, uh, worse is the fact that... Um, the, fa the next five fixtures for Chelsea are bigger. They are playing Bayern Munich, they are playing Manchester City, yeah, they are yeah. playing Tottenham so, uh -huh. and Liverpool also in that group. So that means it, it is really a hard time for, for, for Frank. And I think for him, he's looking at this game and telling his players, we need to win this one. Exactly. It's, the most, it's the most winnable game. Let's try and challenge and win this one and then start this momentum, build on it yeah. so, so that we can try and, and have some momentum by the time you're playing Tottenham and then Bayern Munich. Mm -hmm. We can have some, some run going on. But for me, I'm looking at this game from the side of United and saying, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, you, you have an opportunity to get into the top four or at least finish fifth. Yeah. And for you to do that, and you have to do this within the next five games. Yeah. When these other teams are struggling, you have yeah, to win points. points. Yeah. The only way Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to win this game is to have a focal point. And that focal point can be only be provided by Idion Igalo. Tammy Ibrahim, is, if he's not firing, Chelsea are not firing. He has called most of their goals. Uh -huh. William has been very wasteful. It's like, it's like the right? rush for, for is for Manchester, Manchester United. United. Yeah. So for me, I'm looking at this game and saying Tammy Ibrahim is not 100% fit. He has to be tested today if he will play on Monday. Uh -huh. So it, there's still some issues with Chelsea. They need 
to bring their A game. And the only way they're going to bring their A game is to have Tammy Ibrahim in there, provide the focal point. You've got William playing up on the on the wing. He's going to be some some useful uh, bring some use into that team. But yeah. I feel for me, Idian Igalo will be the difference maker for Manchester United. That gives Martial yeah. chance to play in the wing. Cut inside. You've got Daniel James. Yeah. Cut inside, and you have got now Bruno Fernandez, who can find Martial and James. That, that, that gives that, that, that's, that's the, the knocker. I wanted to put for you. Is this the game that we are going to see Bruno Fernandez coming out? Because he came out against Wolves and people were excited the way he was playing and all that. What about now his second game and it's against a big team like Chelsea? I think it's a high time that he can prove a pointer uh, because uh, the first game he performed, uh, I can say fairly well. I yes. cannot uh, criticize him. He, he played fa fairly well and uh, I think now going into the second match with the group uh, and uh, since he's going away to Stamford Bridge, I think he has that point to prove, uh, you know what, um, I'm here to stamp authority in yeah. his midfield. So I think he'll be going into, uh, into that match with some motivation, uh, uh, knowing that if, you know, I make a, self for myself, uh, a name for myself here, then, you know, there are good uh, days to come for uh, playing for the United team. Because if you look at, at the table, uh, currently, uh, we can say that the top three positions are taken. Liverpool, Man City, Leicester. Starting a position uh, four up to position actually 13. That's 39 points and position 13 is that one. So those are eight, <laughs> yeah. eight points. This, this is a game of uh, calculations. If someone slips up here, one or two games, you find yourself in a position that you don't want uh, to be. So I, I think United going into that match, also knowing that if they lose this match, maybe Arsenal win tomorrow. Yeah. That's a point mm -hmm. between them. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and when it comes to Bruno, when yeah. it comes to Bruno Fred, I think the biggest learning point for them is the fact that he was commanding other players. He uh -huh. was calling Fred yes. in the pitch and telling him we need to do this. Mm -hmm. he was, and, and that's what Man United he, were lacking. Was you know, that yes, yeah. And, yeah. and that's what they were lacking in yeah. that midfield. Fred does not speak. Fred yeah. wants to play his ball. He wants to just look. No, he calls Pereira and tells him, "I want you to be in that position. I want so you." That I can and, supply yeah. this ball or and and, like and that, that, that's yeah. that's that's really a very big plus. Mm -hmm. um, and if you look at the way Chelsea are playing right now, they are struggling with teams that get the position. So if you United go and get a position at at, at Stamford Bridge. Mm -hmm. They're going to be very very cause many problems for for Frank Lampard because because one. because the defense of Chelsea is very poor. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm just I'm going I'm going for United. Um, this is gonna be this is gonna be that game that is gonna be dirty nasty. Yeah. But I'm, I'm I'm going for United. I'm sticking with United. Uh, United um, win. United win. <laughs> 2-1 because Man United is shaky at the back, but they've kept three clean sheets in the last three games. So, I uh, know in the last two games, um, they have something they are not done for yeah. a while. So, I, mean, I think 2-1 because I'm giving Tammy Abraham to score or yeah. Jorginho from the penalty, <laughs> penalty spots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I see myself giving it to, uh, to United 0-1. Yes. Uh, so, uh, because... Tight, tight, uh, tight one. Yeah, tight one, because mm -hmm. uh, Chelsea are playing at home, and mm -hmm. uh, United, I know, uh, they come in with surprises. They surprised Man City the other day. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I think... But they, they, you, we, can't, okay. we can't even say how, how whether Man United will be playing a back four or a back six. You know, you can't <laughs> say... <laughs> because, yeah, because, yes. because in some games, you, you have those wing backs. Exactly. But in that defense, he turns to a back six, and, so... And, and, and it's I, think, just, I think that's what will happen on Monday, actually. But, yeah, but uh, you can play. I, I don't think he's gonna go for that tactic because Chelsea um, are sending their full uh, their full backs very full, forward. Full, 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 and Emerson or, yeah. or, or, or Alonso, they go very very up, up go forward. So I think for him, he'll be looking to exploit that. And if you look at uh, when he has played with teams that do that, what he does is he tells the likes of, 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 of the wingers if James and the rest they are told to stay forward, they are told to stick forward. That's yeah. why you find Rashford taking positions in that place. I feel if Rashford was in this game, we'll be talking about three something. Yeah. But now that he's not mm -hmm. there, you're talking about <laughs> two something because, I mean, he's a difference maker though. Uh, big game that will be happening. That will be on Monday night. That is Chelsea FC versus Manchester United at the Stamford Bridge. The first leg actually, Manchester United won by four goals to nil and it was the first <coughs> game for Frank Lampard and he was going against Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at Manchester United. Two games this afternoon, Southampton versus Burnley United. And then Norwich versus Liverpool FC. Liverpool have a chance to extend their unbeaten run to 44 games this afternoon. Exactly. Yeah. I think um, uh, Norwich, uh, yeah, can give them a few problems here and there. But we've known uh, Liverpool to be a team who comes 
out in such difficult situations yeah. uh, with the sense of uh, the, the forwards that they have. I think Sadio Mane will be coming Going back, back yeah. into the team. Uh, they, they, they'll be able to get another win on the road. And uh, is it now cementing or what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they cemented it. They, they, we're not talking about cementing yes, anymore. We're talking about breaking, breaking records now. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 55 so. points between top and bottom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it has never been wider at this stage the way it is exactly, at the moment. Yes. One thirty-three of their past thirty-four league games. Actually, the only draw they had was against uh, United. Manchester United. United. <laughs> Sixteen wins in a row. Nine clean sheets in ten. <laughs> Doesn't look like a team that is going to slow down. Even if Klopp is struggling, he is having injury concerns of Sadio Mane. And more Salah. I, I think I think for for Liverpool they have found a way to play, mm -hmm. and they have trusted the way they are playing, yeah. and that's that's Their very style of yeah that, that, <laughs> that that is very important. They may lack Sadio Mane, but whoever comes in, whether it's um, Milimino, knows my role is this, and that's that is specific. Exactly. It doesn't change. It doesn't I, change. I, I, whether you have Firmino, whom you know will drop back control the game, the tempo of the game. You have got Fabinho, he will give away some 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 free kicks, but he will try and make sure to b protect the back four. Yeah. And then you have got Van Dijk, yes. who will bump forward sometimes, who will give, give you some headers and some goals from that point. And you have got Alexandra and Robertson, who are the biggest high assist providers this season. So you have got you have got those <laughs> options, you know? Options and, and, and you know, if you get a free kick at a good position, mm. Alexander Arnold can put it in the back of the net. Exactly. And, and that is the most exciting thing. So whether you have money or not, it doesn't really make and a I, difference. I don't want to go against time or ahead of my time but I gotta ask when you look at this Liverpool side which side can you compare it to we, we had the United of the 90s we had United of 90s winning the Champions League in 1999 was at the United of 2008 winning the Champions League of 2008 where the Invincibles also coming on that side uh, during 2005-2006. We had also Liverpool of <coughs> 2005 winning the Champions League. No Premier League yet. But we, we also had uh, Mourinho's side of 2004 coming on to dethrone Sir Alex Ferguson. W uh, where do you put this team at the moment? I think um, in terms of comparison, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go... Uh, and don't get me wrong. Eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the moment he says that, we already know where he's headed. We already know where he's headed. Invisibles. That's where you're headed, man. Let's like, come on. Let's go to you. Hey, 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 come on. Hey. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compare them uh, with the Invisibles. Yes. Although, in terms of points, of course, right now they are superior. Yeah, very I'm, superior. I'm, 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 I'm going to compare them to the Invisibles because oh. yeah. um, they might. I, I'm not sure, but they might end up this season unbeaten. unbeaten. I'm but not, don't I'm tell me sure. they've gone. I'm not sure they're going to go. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why I'm. I'm, I'm it's coming. actually 43 don't, unbeaten. Yes, Top don't, flight don't tell me about that yeah. because this we are talking about a season, a full season. season yes. yes. Yeah. So we, we we are not going to make our season of yeah. six. <laughs> so yeah. this season they might end up maybe uh, yeah. not losing a match, mm -hmm. and. Uh, they have tried. They, they have found, as we were saying, they have found a, a trick of coming uh, out of very, very difficult games with with the three points. Yes. So I think I can compare uh, them uh, uh, with the invisibles. Uh, but I think I, I, I think the invisibles would work, yeah. but they could. But the reason why I would go for the 99-98 team for United yeah. is simply because the 99-98 team had some fear factor in them, uh -huh. and that is what Liverpool have right now. Yes. Some fear factor. That the fear factor means it doesn't matter whether it is zero 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 at eighty fifth minute, we still can get something. You can something. still, you, you know, we can still get some. Yeah. And, and the more importantly is that your opponent does not think about the, what they have in them. They think of what you have what? to try and stop you. You get that. That makes the, the game totally different because for Klopp he knows this is what I have this is the Arsenal we're not changing anything but for the opponent manager has to look at Klopp and say okay you have got Alexander I Robertson can, you've I got uh, 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 you've got Van Dyke, you've got money how are you going to deal with those so that that gives the game totally different so for me I feel the fear factor is very important big for one there for Liverpool they are playing away to Norwich at Carroll Road this afternoon but very quickly also we've got two fixtures tomorrow that is Aston Villa versus Tottenham Hotspur and then Arsenal versus 
Newcastle. Let's just start with you. Arsenal versus Newcastle. Sidney Kolasnik will be coming back onto that side. We might say Cedric Suarez also making a debut for Arsenal. Uh, someone I'm looking, I'm looking forward, uh, maybe if he can make his debut, is Pablo Mari. Uh -huh. uh, yes. This guy has really performed uh, 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 in, in South America, and mm -hmm. we really are very, very weak in uh, our uh, centre-back department. So yes. uh, if Atseta is going to give him a, a shot, I think w that's what I'm looking for forward to, to see what change he'll pr bring into into that center back because it's someone who can really even supply balls uh, mm -hmm. uh, up front uh, change wings change balls from one wing to another in a very very uh, fantastic uh, uh, with uh, very fantastic crosses mm -hmm. so uh, that's what really I'm uh, I'm looking forward to and come on we, we, we really need to start winning again uh, we, we we have drawn drew so so much so uh -huh. this is a game that gives us that platform uh, to, go, to get to the go three points here. very quickly aston villa tottenham aston villa actually made it to the finals of the league cup and they are They're very facing tough City. at mm. the moment they are playing tottenham hotspur also tomorrow but tottenham have not lost eight matches to villa can this change at villa park tomorrow Yes, it can, mm. but it also depends on Jack Gredish bringing his best game into 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 it. Mm. Um, I feel um, Aston Villa has been dependent on him, but yeah. now they've got uh, this, this the Tanzanian striker Samantha uh, Samata. 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 So um, I, I feel uh, they have options, and I feel they can hurt Tottenham Hotspur yeah. because Tottenham still are lacking Hurricane, yeah. and that's a very big miss for them. Um, with the, with the kind of backline that Aston Villa has with big people, the likes mm -hmm. of Mings, uh, they kind of they kind of dominate the likes of Song. So it is about now for them. For Tottenham is about skill, yeah. uh, but for uh, Aston Villa is about both skill and being physical so they have to find a balance but also what we know we have noticed with Jose Mourinho this season is most important is that for him he has been tried to make sure that his team keeps some intensity yeah. as much as we may not have position we'll try and keep that physicality going on and some intensity up there and that has worked for them against tried to work for them against Man City although they ended up losing that game but again it's very important that mm -hmm. um, um, Aston Villa does try to do something but I feel Jose Mourinho may just have something just a little that <laughs> extra, you know. Yeah, yeah you know, that's, yeah, yeah, you know, it's just, you just, throw just yeah. the of the game. So, what will be keeping your tabs on this afternoon I'll and the rest uh, of the weekend? Uh, I'll be at least we have now the Premier League uh, weekend back, back, so that's what is gonna keep me busy. Yeah, this weekend, yeah. Some. I mean, we can't say much about Premier League, man. You cannot argue with it. Last weekend was so boring, man. <laughs> so, very yeah, boring. very boring, man. That's where we come to the end of the touchline here on Y254. If you want to talk to us here on Y254 channel, it is on Twitter and social media platforms at Y254 channel. I'm Robert Osoro. On behalf of everyone who has made this broadcast a success, we want to say good afternoon. Just keep watching Y254 and at 5 to Today you'll be enjoying some of the best rock mixes here on Y254, courtesy of one man called Fadili. And actually, he is looking for a serious rock DJ. I forgot to say this last week, but I can say this. If you are a very serious rock DJ, get in touch with at Y254 channel. For the rest of the people, enjoy the rest of your viewing here on Y254.